Um. Hmm. What is this? A book. But what book is it? Something really exciting. I'm sure it's a copy of Twilight. Puflanzenreich. Kingdom of Prussia. Wow. I can see my house from there. Bo Russia. <laughs> I don't think Bo Russia was ever country. I mean, I could be wrong, but you know. Tinderbox. And another piece of paper. So much reading in a library. Why does this happen to me? Oh my god, that feather magically disappeared. <laughs> Houdini feather. Okay. Oh god. Oh wow. That's the world's scariest piece of paper right there. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. 17th May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most Relic. Sparkles! Come back, Sparkles! Ah, oh, no more sparkles. Oh, I'm leaning instead of walking forward, right? That's cool too. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. Now I wonder if I could use this. What is this? <gasps> Harry! Can you use- can you help me? I'm stuck, Harry. Please help me. Thank you. Don't worry, Harry. I'll take you with me. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Did you hear that, Harry? You can never be too careful. Um, it's dark. Uh huh. So, I assume. We have some sort of puzzly puzzle to do. Why won't you let me out? Just glitch through the wall like you used to. Oh, that's not obvious or anything. Harry, where did you go? Harry? There you are. You can't leave me. I'll need your help for opening things like this. Talk about sinking with your head, huh, Harry? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Sit there while I read this piece of paper. Oh, this looks like it's going to be very, very long. Okay. Adjust myself in my squeaky chair and read. Altstadt and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region which with lore is Altstadt deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. 
The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is a picturesque is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversation, since it will certainly serve as an exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragging behind them which re reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all of the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? And finally, the immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives in a reclusive lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt. Like and like most those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from, Rhineland, from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been so secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is the, in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Wow! That was some exciting book reading right there. Time for some even more exciting puzzling. Now I have to pull books. And it'll make a sound like that. And I think... I think there is just these three. Pa, pa, pa. Come on, Harry. Harry the helmet. I will need you to help me. Oops. Sorry. I dropped you. I didn't mean to. Please forgive me. Don't hurt me. I love you. <sighs> What's in here? Nothing. Ooh. <sighs> More reading. Regarding closing of the wine cellar. 
Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave and or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Books and throw this. Oh, that's moving because of. Uh, what's that? It'll be okay, Harry. It'll be okay. I don't know why we're hiding. Why was there scary music, Harry? <gasps> Go check. Is it safe? Oh, the door opened. What was that? Oh, <sighs> it was the subtitles. <gasps> oh, there was something over there. And it said Wog. Just run to the exit. No, not boo whoop. Not boo whoop. We're leaving. Bye. Sorry, Harry. <sighs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Nope. Nope. There's Goopy. There's Goopy. There's Goopy. Goopy? No. Ow! Ow! Oh god. Why would you hurt me like that? Oh, that's a spider web. I'm like, why is there a floating thingy? My hurt all is good. Head is pounding. Hands are shaking. That's very good. Dude, honestly, my hands are shaking more than yours. So, shut the hell up. You'll deal with it. I think. Oh god, I don't want to go in the wine cellar. That sounds very scary and ominous. How scary and ominous? Very scary and ominous. Oh god. Oh god. Please don't be anything horrible. I can't remember what's in here. Oh, I have to use the key manually. A handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling and pushed down on the brim of his hat. He braced himself as the cavern suddenly shifted and settled. Oh god, this looks absolutely terrifying in here. Beware when standing in darkness your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment using tinder boxes or search for the sources of light. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Where did the baron go? Who cares? He left us enough wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow! <laughs> ha ha ha. It's so cold. It's cold, it's so cold. Oh, oil. Let's close this door. It's not cold, Daniel. It's just friggin' terrifying. Okay. 
I feel a little bit better with that pathetic looking rock in the way. Why is there tools in the wine cellar? I'm going to do some construction work while I'm drunk.